everyone, it's Rachel Reed with Rachel Super Cute Creations. Um, this is day five of our 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. And Linda Israel and myself have been putting together this series of videos for all of our friends out there to follow and just to give you some ideas of some things that you might want to give at Christmas time um, that'll use up your stash and also allow you to give a gift that's handmade. Personally, I think a handmade gift is much more um, loved than something that is store bought. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and get started. So this right here is a recipe journal. It's only four pages and it's made from a um, from some lunch bags like this. So I'm going to show you how to do that at the end. Um, I wanted to use up some scrapbook paper that I'd had for a while. And I also wanted to use up some of my junk journal scraps and bits and pieces. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this, and then I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy journal. Um, I hope everybody likes this. So this is just an image that um, I got off of line. Um, so I copied it, inked around the edges. This is solely for the purpose of recipes. Um, my thought is a lot of my... Um, nieces and nephews are in their 20s. They don't have necessarily recipe books. Um, and I think it's time for them to start getting some recipes, um, treasuring those recipes. And a lot of them are using, you know, things online. But um, I wanted to make sure that they had something to keep some special recipes in. So these recipe cards I just printed off line they're free there's lots of free cards out there this right here this is a tag that i bought um and then i just traced it onto some guest check paper guess these guest checks that i have are pretty durable and sturdy but i thought what a great way to put some cute little recipes in there as well um each page has this little um tuck spot on the end that allows for more recipe cards and you can probably get, oh, I don't know, six or seven recipe cards in there. Um, here's another little tuck spot. I kept it fairly neutral um, in color. This is just an image that I got off the internet and I made a tuck spot. And then here's one of my handmade recipes, uh, or I'm sorry, one of my recipes that I wrote on a card for them. Just says from the Holiday Kitchen of Rachel Reed. And then I put the information on there. So I thought that that would be good um, to start off their little recipe book. Um, once again, you know, here's another little tuck spot. Here's a spot that I thought, you know, here, write a recipe here, maybe take a picture of the cookies or whatever it is you made, your first holiday dinner, and put it on here. So there's enough room to do that. Um, you know, you can put a four by six picture right there. So that's, this is a four by six card. Um, here's another one of those little hot cocoa cards, or I'm sorry, little cards that I made. I put creamy hot cocoa, homemade creamy hot cocoa recipe on it, added a little bit of washi tape on here. And I thought that was a really cute recipe idea. Here's some more recipe cards and just some little scrap papers for them to make notes on and things like that. So that is basically it for this. I think it turned out very nice. Um, and it was very easy to make. It did not take a lot of time. It allowed me to use up some stash pages or papers that I had um, but I think it just turned out really well so what a great way to wrap this up in a little box and be able to give that as a gift um, and I'm probably would add some more recipes in there just so that the person would have that um, and maybe print some more recipe cards you could put those in the front a little packet of cards um, so that they would have some additional cards. So let me show you how I made this really quick. It's not difficult at all, just a regular lunch bag. Then um, all you do is, so let me go this way. All right, so this is the lunch bag. All I'm doing is taking this flap and folding it up to the edge here. At this point, you're gonna wanna use hot glue for this edge. And you're just going to hot glue this edge down because you want it down. Um, you want it to be sturdy because this is where your binding is going to be. So you're going to go ahead and put that down. Now at this point, you have to decide, do you want your bag to open up all the way? So if I folded this in, fold, well, 
this would be the end of my pages. So do I want it to open up all the way like this? My fear was is that the cards would fall out. So I did not want that. So I just went ahead and you can use your hot glue gun or you can use your um, glue stick. I would not recommend using Arle Arlene's tacky glue for this project just because it's very wet and you do not want, um, you want this to dry quickly so that you can work on it. So you can use hot glue here to seal this. You can use um, a regular glue stick, which is what I used on mine. I used a regular glue stick. I did use the hot glue up in here because I wanted to make sure that it was sealed well, um, but I used a glue stick along these edges here. But for the sake of time, I'm going to just use my hot glue gun. Okay, so now what I've done is I've made this pocket and I'm gonna do that for four pages. So once I have four of these done, which is what I've already done for you, I am then going to stack them up. I use these bullnose clips or these binding clips to kind of hold it in place. I have to decide where do I want my holes. So you can definitely measure this. I just kind of eyeball it. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. That's where my first hole is. Then what I do, now if you have a heavier duty punch, I know some of you do, I think, you know, the, the, the crocodile or whatever those are, um, you can probably punch through all of these. I don't, I just have this basic punch. So this is what I'll be using. Um, so I'm just go ahead and I'm punching through, lining it up. This is a project that anybody can do. You don't need a lot of supplies. You just need paper. You just need four lunch bags. You need a hole punch and you need a pair of scissors. That's it. All right. So now that I've done that, notice, I'm just noticing here. I don't know if you can see this, that see this kind of opens up a little bit. That's fine because what we're going to do is all I did next is get a piece of paper. Okay, just a minute here to get a piece of paper. So then all I did is get a piece of, and I used craft paper. You can use whatever you want. I wanted to kind of keep the, um, the idea of having the um, paper bag look. At that point, all I did is just kind of lay it down here, decide how much I needed, went ahead and just folded it over. You can use scissors here or you can use your paper cutter. Cut that off. Lined it up. Made sure that it covered that area that I wanted. And then I just went ahead and just like we did before, measured those little holes, marked them, folded it backwards. lined the holes up, glued this down. So all you need to do is hot glue this down on both sides. Once you get that in there, you're going to just trim off the edges right here and right here and decide how you're going to bind that. And so now you have your book. Okay. Then you want to just make sure that you fold your pages back good. You crease them. and you have this book, then you can go ahead and just embellish it and decorate it. So I hope that's helpful. What a quick, easy way, if you have a grandchild and you wanna start your grandchild with a junk journal, here's a real quick, easy way to put together a little kit for um, a young one as well. Hope everybody likes this video um, and have a great day.